everyone today we are going to discuss about one simple way to inspect the disappearing element from any website so in the end of this video it will not matter what kind of element you are trying to inspect and what kind of uh, web application you are trying to uh, inspect that element on because there are several ways to you know inspect these disappearing element but those do differ from what kind of UI technology a particular site is having or what kind of element we are trying to inspect. So let me show you the problem statement first. For this, I'll move to the Flipkart application. So on this application, we have this search menu here, right? And there are some certain auto suggestion which are coming and say I want to inspect laptops auto suggestion under this item, but as soon as I'm trying to inspect it, it is going away. So there is one simple way within your this particular application that the, you can go to event listener. Here we have several attributes out of those attributes. There is one specific attribute for blur. Just expand it and remove these elements. And now if you are trying to inspect, you can inspect the element. Any, any suggestion you can inspect from here. It will not move away now. But let me show you on the same site, there is one more option which is kind of having the same problem statement but that is a menu item, a hoverable menu item. So I have refreshed the page and the more options are there and if I go to dev tools here, we have the blur property, I'm going to remove all of these and observe now whether we are able to inspect anything or not say I want to inspect this advertise okay so it is staying there and we can inspect others but as soon as I'll click it is there I came back it is not there okay with this particular thing the behavior was that it was staying there like you are able to inspect all of those elements it will not uh, remove like as soon as you are done inspecting any you can go back and inspect other but as I tried with the more option it is not like if let me show you again on advertise it is there but then it is going away right so this is a problem statement within the same application different uh, elements are behaving differently different disappearing elements to be specific so let me show you one more thing the other problem statement like on different websites it will not work like for the same elements as well so I'm going to search here I'm going to inspect blur is there I'm going to remove it remove remove search for something is not there right it is not staying here so now we know the problem statement we have discussed both of the things like the pro thing which was working here it was not working on this element like completely not working it was partially working but not completely but on this particular website it didn't work at all so there is one concept which we can use about JavaScript debugger for this what I'll do I'll first open the console and here <clears throat> in our dev tools we'll see what element what attributes are getting changed like as soon as I'm hovering to an element for that first you need to reach out to that particular element the parent element okay and then just observe like what is happening with the elements as soon as you are hovering to it can you see any change not yet I'll do a inspect again then and now if you come here observe there is a one particular element we don't need event listeners for now so if you're observing this particular element as soon as uh, as soon as we are hovering the style attribute of this particular element is getting changed Initially, there is no style attached to it, display is mentioned as none. As soon as we are going here, the style attribute which was none there is not longer is no longer null, right? 
so we can do one thing we can here say that just right click and say breaks on attribute modification okay so as soon as this attribute is getting changed wait apply a debugger so we have a debugger we can just now click on this click till the time you have the menu options there you have all the menu options now and you can debug any of these it will not disappear after you are done inspecting any of these right it will stay there i want to inspect this i can i want to inspect the first one i can right similarly you can do the same thing for other like for search item as well but before that let me show you how we can remove the debugger just go there here and here you can say breaks on subtree modification uncheck it so this is sorted just click on this this will no longer be there right now let us observe the same thing around search option as well so for this let me attach it to the browser and now reach up to this element this is the input element okay and now i'll say l i so observe one thing as soon as auto suggestions are coming this element is getting elements added within it okay so that means there is a subtree modification on this element mainly so let me apply a debugger here and i say break on subtree modification earlier it was attribute modification now we are doing the same thing on the subtree modification so i'll again search okay see so you can see the elements elements are there right so that's how you can achieve this thing and then inspect any of the element once the debugger is there it will stay there and you can inspect any of these element and this will work on every web application now on some of the sites i have uh, also observed that there is one more way mentioned but that also doesn't work with every application let me show you how first to remove the debugger go to the sources this this will show you where you have pushed so break on subtree modification and now if you go back you have already sorted just to double sure breaks on yeah so just click on it yeah okay now you are all sorted so the way which is being described in the most of the places is that as soon as you are on your disappearing element okay you should have your console opened go to the sources under dev tools i'm under course sources tab and then here first you have your disappearing elements then you press function plus f8 and you should see a debugger but in my case as soon as i press function plus f8 first the disappearing elements are being disappeared okay and then i'm having the debugger so it might work for few of the places but i have observed that for few of the places it didn't work so now coming to the most simplest way that i have came across to inspect any disappearing element it is to call your console that apply a debugger after a certain time okay and within that time frame i'm going to go to the application and perform that action which will cause that disappearing element to be there okay the element which i want to inspect so let me show you how we can do it go to console and here call a method set timeout then use arrow function of javascript here make a call to debugger and here you can define the time in millisecond so that means after 6 second i expect once i i will enter i will hit enter that means after 6 second the debugger should be there and within that time frame i can do the action like i can go here that's it and now i need to wait okay so it depends upon you whichever element you want to inspect just reach up to that particular element and then the debugger will be there
stay wait for some time till the debugger is there and once the debugger is there then you can start inspecting the elements right so in this way you need not to go to the event listener you need not to inspect all the elements like where the changes are being made and you just need to hit this particular command here and wait and then once the elements are there you can easily inspect that so in case you have came across some other ways as well please uh, do share that in the comment section and in case you are liking the content that i'm making please do like and subscribe see you in the next video thank you